Hi, my name is Amanda Rocha. I am a probate and estate planning attorney in California, and today I want to talk to you if you are part of a step family relationship. First, I want to give you my contact information in case you have questions or wanted to reach out to me. You can find me on my website at www.amandarochalaw.com or comment down below if this platform allows you to do that, or find me on social media at Amanda Rocha Law. The reason that I am discussing this with you today is because I was recently speaking with a client about their estate plan. We were having a planning call, and when we were discussing their children and whether or not they're going to take from their estate in even shares, they mentioned to me a story about their own personal family where uh, one of their parents passed away and their stepchildren, so this person's step-siblings, were inadvertently left out of their estate plan. Unfortunately, if you have a step-son or step-daughter, uh, you, you don't actually leave anything for them without an estate plan, um, without purposefully adding their information in there. So that is what I want to talk to you about today. Did you know that over 113 million families in the U.S. have a step relationship of some kind? That's a staggering number, and to me that just means that there are a lot of people who love a lot of different people, which is wonderful. Uh, a child should be loved by as many people as possible. So if you have stepchildren that you don't want to disinherit by accident, then you should definitely think about creating an estate plan sooner rather than later. If you pass away with, without an estate plan, your property is never going to go to your stepchildren or step-grandchildren without you having had an estate plan. So I'm going to say that again. If you don't specifically put in an estate plan that you want your stepchildren or step-grandchildren to receive anything from you, the state will never give it to them because they aren't your heirs. Um, now, the only exception would be if someone was adopted and that is, then they're no longer stepchildren. So uh, let's talk about reasons why you would or would not want to do this. First, of course, if you have stepchildren that you view as your own children and you want everything to be even, then then that's one reason that you would want to create an estate plan as soon as possible, because if something happens to you today or tomorrow, then only some of your children will actually be legally entitled to your estate. And second of all, if you do have a stepchildren and you, you maybe want even distribution, distribution of finances, but you want your heirlooms to go to your bloodline, you have to put that in there separately as well. So you would have a personal property memorandum saying, I want um, great grandma's clarinet to go to, you know, child number one. And I want everything else to be evenly distributed between the rest of my children and child number one. So these, these are the kinds of things that people think about from time to time, or maybe never think about at all. But the important thing to remember here is that the state is never going to assume that you forgot your stepchildren. It will only assume that you forgot your, your, um, your actual born children, children of your actual bloodline. So if you were to make an estate plan and leave one of your children out by mistake, the state would assume that you accidentally forgot them. If you want to disinherit one of your children, that's a totally different situation. And in order to prevent a court from thinking it was a mistake, you have to say you're disinheriting them. Whereas stepchildren are never considered at all. So if you have any questions about how to include your stepchildren or how to make sure that you are giving your stepchildren and your, your biological children um, separate items, let me know. You can find me on my website at www.amandarochalaw.com. You can find me on social media at Amanda Rocha Law or comment down below if this platform allows you to do so. Thank you.